I save all of my important data, information, files, images, videos to external hard drives instead of on my computer drive which is most commonly and probably on your computer your C drive. If you look at uh, your desktop if you you may have a icon on your desktop that is just called computer or my computer. If, uh, if you don't I recommend that you put it there. <laughs> you can go down to the if you're running a Windows go down to the start menu and you see the word computer here. If you right click, click on that word you can click or check here show on desktop. You really need to have this easily accessible. Of course you can always just come here and click on computer and it will open. But uh, I use it so much I want to have it just one click away. This really is your computer. Here's your local C drive. It uh, has a Windows emblem on it showing that that's where my operating system resides. I use Windows 7 and Windows 7, my the system that operates my entire computer has been installed on the C drive. That's generally where it goes. That's very common. And so most people only have a C drive. When you purchase your computer you will have that. Possibly Possibly you will have uh, a DVD drive. I have two DVD drives. They also serve as CD drives. So I can burn from one to the other. But they don't contain data. But I can use a, a blank recordable CD or recordable DVD to record data onto. I used to do that, but now I have thousands of <laughs> CDs and DVDs, and that's really. Uh, I really don't know what's on all of them. Uh, if I remember that I had something, I might be able to find them. But this is what I do now. Uh, this one touch, the elements, free agent drive, or the local disk. They are all external hard drives. In other words, they're not inside my computer tower. They're not mounted inside my CPU or my computer they are small desktop units. They kind of look like uh, camera boxes or uh, I don't know what they look like. They're just little little boxes about uh, six inches long, maybe five or six inches high. They sit on top of my desk. I plug them into the computer using a USB cable. And now they're external. They're generally solid state. They don't run with disks actually. They They use uh, solid state memory very much like a small flash drive does. As a matter of fact the blue disk here and the BW are the black and white flash. Both of these are thumb drives are flash drives and they'll, this one holds a, about uh, 29 gigs and this one's 14 gigs. So I use external media a lot and not so much the uh, CDs <coughs> or DVDs anymore. So let me I recommend that you do that because uh, the C drive, if your operating system can go down, your power uh, supply can fail, uh, your processor can fail, your RAM can go bad, uh, the motherboard can go down, and, uh, and even if you have an electricity surge or a, a lightning strike, it could take out your C drive or your computer and uh, there's a possibility that it might not affect anything that's plugged in externally. So, uh, let me show you how, how to use these and how these work. These are relatively inexpensive. This one has about, uh, came with about 450 gigs on it. That, that one has uh, 372. It's only had 13 gigs. It's an older one. This is, uh, start out with a 931 gigabytes. So I've got a lot of storage. I store a lot of photos, a lot of videos and data. Um, so I can uh, I can click for instance on uh, on this drive. Let's just open one of them. This is the one touch and I've got uh, all kinds of things here. 
that I'm saving and uh, I wanted to keep. I wouldn't want to lose those if my computer fails and if my computer fails I could still plug this one touch drive into your computer or my laptop and they would all be perfectly saved here. Um, let me um, I'm going to come here to the downloads folder here on the left hand column. I'm going to right click on that and do uh, um, open in a new window right there. So there's my downloads folder. Got a few things there. Have uh, There's a picture of me and the family. When I hover the point over it, you can see the little down here in the left hand corner, see the preview. I just click it, open it up. It's uh, down on the beach last year. I'll close that. So let's say uh, th this is right now on my C drive. Uh, you could come here and uh, see that this is this is on my uh, on my C drive, and so it's not safe. And a lot of uh, folks still continue to save things in their downloads folder or their documents folder. Uh, or on their desktop. But I wanted to save this. Uh, first of all, I can right click on that and uh, rename it. I always name it. It's, it's just uh, Baines Beach 2013. I renamed that so I can find it. Now, I want to save that. To my external drive, and uh, here's the One Touch. I've got it open here over to the right. And you can also see the One Touch here. Here's the the computer. The One Touch is listed right there. And uh, all I have to do is hover the mouse over that and press down on the left button of the mouse, drag it over here, and then let go of the mouse. And that just copies it. It's still here, but it's here. Now, I don't need it here anymore. I don't need two copies. There might be something you need two copies of. But I can delete that now. If you ever delete something and decide you wish you hadn't deleted it, unless you've emptied the trash, it's still there. See? I open the trash bin, the recycle bin. I can right click on that then and click restore, and it leaves the trash bin. And it's back right here. It restored it. Now, once you uh, right click on your recycle bin and tell it to empty, it's gone. It can be retrieved, but it's not easy. So, I'm going to drag that over here and drop it. It's back in the recycle bin. So, it's gone. I haven't emptied the trash yet. But you see right here, I can click on that. It's on my external hard drive. It loads very quickly and there's no loss or degradation of quality. Now uh, I've got my email program open and here's a, a promotion from SlideShare. I use SlideShare so I, I like getting uh, emails from them telling me about what they've got going on. It's a program that's online that uh, helps you put together slides, slideshows just as it says. So I've opened that. It was just simply I use uh, Thunderbird as my email client. I can take it with me. It's on my thumb drive and I don't leave any of my email on my C drive or on my computer. This is on my thumb drive. The program is on my thumb drive and all of the activity that I do is on my thumb drive. So I could take this and plug it into your computer and all my emails there. All the emails that I've archived, everything that I've saved over here in my folders. I have three or four different uh, email accounts. And but what I want to do is uh, I have to open this and I want to save it. I say, well, this is very important. I want to save it. I can save it, of course, uh, simply by putting it in a, in a folder. But uh, I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. I, what I want to do, since when I've got this email open, I can go to File and then do Save, that, save As, and I want to save it as a file. And it'll bring up a dialog box. Where do you want to save it at? Right now it's wanting me to, it's telling me I can save it on the desktop. But I don't want to do that. I want to save it. I want to scroll down, find that drive that I was just using, the One Touch. And uh, you see it says, says One Touch right now. I want to click Save. 
I'm going to close that and I'm going to minimize my email program. Now look there, there it is right there. Top presentations on SlideShare. I saved it, saved it to my OneTouch drive. Now let me open the email program again and, and I, I do want to save this in my email program so that it goes on my thumb drive. I just want to put it right now since it's, it, I don't really have enough uh, slide share information. I just have a thing here called uh, storage. So I'm just going to pinch it with the left mouse button and drag it down to the storage button and let it go. And so I've saved it. I can open it. There it is right now. And so I've saved it two places. One on the OneTouch drive and I've saved it in storage. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to open uh, my web browser. Here's my Facebook page. And uh, this is a. Uh, if anybody. If, uh, now, this is a video right here. It's of my grandbaby serving as a flower girl in a wedding this weekend. But if you see an image anywhere on the internet and you'd like to, to keep that image, just uh, put your mouse over the image that you'd like to have or save. And right click your mouse there and uh, we can come down this list here and do save image as and so it gives us this big long number it wants to save it right here in my downloads folder but I want to save it on my uh, C drive I want to save it on uh, the one touch there it is I'll select that again so it shows up here in the top box and uh, Let's rename this. I'm going to call it uh, Computer Crash Crime. All right. And it's going to save it as a JPEG, a JPG. So it'll automatically append this extension to the end of that. And click Save. You can do that with any uh, any image on the internet. You can let's, let's say let's go. Uh, let me open another window here and go to Google. There's Google. And if I come up to the right hand corner here where it says images, now it says Google Images. And I, anything you can think of, let's say, uh, let's type in church and just tell it to hit enter. Lots of churches pop up, all kinds of, probably thousands. Let's just uh, pick this little country church right here. I'm going to click on that to open it. And uh, if I like that, if I want to keep it, I can right click on it and do Save Image As. And uh, here gives me an opportunity to rename it again. Let's go uh, White Country Church Image. And it's a uh, it's going to append this as a JPEG too. There are a lot of different kinds of images and so uh, most internet pictures you're going to see are either PNGs or JPGs. So this is a JPEG right there and then click that X and goes back. Now let's minimize and I'm going to scroll down just tap computer crash crying. So I can click on this now. I saved it and it, I can uh, use it in a lot of different ways. I can even think around with it and edit it, change it. So uh, that is using an external hard drive and all, all there are all the things there that I saved and a number of other things that I saved uh, for making sure that the things that are important to me are saved in a safe place and uh, I can save it on two different drives. There are some things like my Israel videos and things that are very very important that I have them saved on two different drives and uh, if the house were to catch fire once everybody is safe and the cat is out I might if I felt that I had enough time run in here and uh, grab up all my external hard drives and take them with me but at any rate uh, hopefully I would not be so foolish as to run into a burning house uh, for these kinds of things but uh, if my computer fails if my operating system plays out there are so many things that can go wrong just with the computer but there are less moving parts in these external hard drives they're much simpler in the way they operate 
have less moving parts and uh, less can go wrong. They are apart from my C drive and so there's a certain level of safety there. And they are certainly more reliable and uh, longer lasting than CDs and DVDs. All right, I hope that was helpful to you. Give that a whirl. Let me know if you would like to buy uh, an external hard drive. I can get them large or small, almost any size, at a very reasonable price. So, this is not only a help video, <laughs> but a commercial. So, let me know how I can help you. I'd be glad to help any way that I can.